to a Transformers Galaxy class review. This time we're going to be looking at Flame Convoy. Flame Convoy's alt mode is a dragon, but unlike uh, any Beast War alt mode, this isn't really a uh, organic uh, beast mode, nor is it really trans mode. It's more like the best way I can describe it, the kind of beast mode this kind of turns out to be is more like a metal impersonating as an organic tissue if that makes sense this uh, is a ultra class figure so it is rather large it has a really good posability be mainly because uh, the legs are have many points of articulation and it's possible and it's uh, due to because uh, these just extend out to become his robot legs as with typical with uh, Beast Mode Transformers. And he does have an opening mouth which can extend out or open up wider. And on the back here, he has his white uh, yellow button. When pressed, it activates lights and sounds and has a dragon noise to it. And you take uh, his force chip which was uh, specially made for this uh, figure uh, with the gold uh, instead of silver on this to show that he is a uh, leader of the planet. Put, put in that here. Put it in. Activates uh, the twin uh, dr dragon heads which have little Decepticon symbols on themselves which are the only uh, Decepticon logos you can find on Flame Convoy himself and each one has a posable mouth now the colors on this figure is rather uh, strange in my opinion just the mixtures of yellow dark red almost and orange and purple with a dark gray almost black this is a little bit uh... it's definitely evil looking but little uh... the colors really don't seem to mix all that well but the detail on it is still really good you can see all the kind of realistic or as you met kind of more rectilinear ridges on his uh... horns here some more, uh, well, just kind of more mechanical looking designs on on his arms and neck, and it goes along to his tail. Okay. And his tail does technically have articulation, but it can only really be positioned one way, and that's just kind of at angles, just so it doesn't drag on the ground. Would have liked to see more, a little bit, so you can do more poses, but that's about it. Now, on with the transformation, which is disappointingly simple for this toy. Uh, first, we're going to just remove the tail. Set that to the side for now. I'm going to fold these back just for now. Pick them up and view from the bottom here. Pull and extend the legs. There we go. Now we're going to take the arms down and rotate them to the side. Oh, this happens a lot of mine where the uh, dragon heads pop out at their own will. I'll show that in greater detail later. Pop up the uh, tabs here. Free the hands. Okay. Take this section here, kind of fold it down and into itself. Collapse the leg section into the body. 
rotate the head and neck down to where the neck will actually go into the body itself and then pull at this tab right here and turn around the head and there he is in robot mode now to uh, convert his tail if he'll stand up oh and then pull his uh, heels or his uh, toes back to form heels there now he's standing to convert this into his club weapon you just really pull that around and then this uh, sticks into his hand. Colors are exactly the same, no more or less of any other color. But this is uh, my preferred mode of this toy because the it has such a menacing look. Even though the character isn't really supposed to be all that bad at the end of the show, he still has a very... Uh, the head, especially the head design, kind of looks like a mixture between Dinobot and Beast Wars Megatron. With a little bit of a, a little teeth sticking out from his bottom lip here. And the uh, horns on the dragon really give it a very, uh, almost a uh, devilish look. Then that look continues on with the, I'm not sure what you'd call these from the dragon mode, uh, almost wings, but not really, because they're attached to his arms. But they give a very uh, devilish look here. This figure's main drawback, and got a lot of criticism for when this figure first came out, is that when you have the hands like this, you cannot move uh, up or down at the elbow. You can only go side to side. When you do want, if you do want to. Uh, go have up, up and down movement then he can't really hold anything upright because his palm will be uh, upward, upright I can't really imagine it would have been too hard of a design to uh, figure out where the hand could rotate around but it's a uh, I'm sure there might have been a reason why they didn't but that's that Let's uh, stick this in his hand here. As you can see, it doesn't look very natural when he's holding it upright because he has he's just holding his arm straight up. But now he can just move the arm around. But he can bend it, the arm that way, but his club's all the way to the side. So that's bad. You know what? Let's just go ahead and do that. To unleash the uh, dragon, there we go. Twin dragons put it back into his claw there, or butt there. There they are. And one thing I do really like about this figure, when uh, all fours chipped out. And with this club, it's just very messy. It's very big, chunky. And if um, Megatron wasn't in the series at all, he would be a great replacement for a leader of all Decepticons for this series. So either if you can't get the Flame Convoy Japanese version, get the American Scourge uh, from Cybertron version, because that one's just as good, just a brighter paint scheme. But either way, this is one figure, not the best. It's not necessarily the best figure from the Galaxy Force line, but it is uh, definitely one of the standout figures from the line. Until next time, thank you for watching.